Welcome to the Blue Dolphin News Network. I am Dylan. And I am Angelina. Please stand for the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now our school motto. Be safe, live responsibly, understand, respect, and encourage each other. Go Blue Dolphins! You may be seated. Our joke of the day. Why are there fences around cemeteries? Because they are dying to get in. Here's a fun fact. It takes your body about 12 hours to fully digest food. Quote of the day by opera. Only surround yourself with people who will lift you higher. Have an amazing Blue Dolphin Day. Birthday celebrations. Good morning, amazing human beings. I'm so excited to be here. This is Miss Rodriguez. And I'm coming to you with a book that's called What If, right? It's a book really about like change. And what if something different happened? Like what if you had an idea or a dream in mind and then something changed, right? And then what if it changed again? And it really talks about just kind of how are you able to adapt to that, right? So the book is about a girl that's determined to express herself and she can't draw her dreams. So she sculpts or builds it or she carves it out. And if she can't do that, she'll turn it into a canvas and then she'll kind of do it joyfully, right? Do it in a way that's kind of like, well, if one thing doesn't work out, I'm going to have to look at it differently or do something differently. So let me share the book. Just moving some stuff around here. Here we go. I hope you enjoy the book. What If, written by Samantha Berger, illustrated by Mike Kirito. With a pencil and paper, I write and draw art to create many stories that come from my heart. But what if that pencil one day disappeared? I'd fold up the paper till stories appeared. And what if that paper was no longer there? I'd chisel the table and then carve the chair. And what if there wasn't a chair here at all? I'd chip and I'd peel at the paint on the wall. And what if there wasn't a wall anymore? I might build a story from boards in the floor. Without any floor, I could still use the land and sketch out a tail in the dirt with my hand. I could still shape the leaves. I could still sculpt the snow. I could still plant the flowers and make kingdoms grow. Without any land, I would still use the light, invent shadow stories the sun would ignite. If there was no light, I would still use my voice to sing out my stories, to chant and rejoice. I'd still have my body to twist and to bend, to dance out my stories beginning to end. If I had nothing, but still had my mind. There'd always be stories to seek and to find.
If I know nothing but one bit of fate, as long as I live, I will always create. As long as I live, I will always create. The end. <laughs> And I really like that book about like hope creating, right? Where sometimes there's a bump in the road and you're like, okay, well, I'm going to create from that. I'm going to build from that. So always try to have that mindset of wanting to always create, always be an artist or a dreamer in your mind. Have a super amazing day. Yeah.